Hey everybody and thanks for tuning in today. My name is Andrew and I'm with Pure Resonance Audio. Today we're going to be talking about how to select your amplifier when you're trying to find a 70 volt system for your application. You may be on our website and you see a lot of different options like this one here is our MA30BT. 30 watt mixer amplifier. We have 60 watt amplifiers, 120 watt amplifiers, uh, 350 watt amplifiers. So you might be saying, how in the world do I know what size amplifier I need for my application? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so the first thing we're gonna uh, touch on is a speaker's tap settings. In a 70 volt system, 70 volt speakers have a built-in transformer that has different tap setting options. Um, these tap settings in short, determine the loudness that that particular speaker can get to. Um, for example, this C3 here, which is our end ceiling speaker, um, has a tap setting of 1.5 watts, 3 watts, and 5 watts. So if I tap this speaker at 5 watts, that is the maximum power that it's going to draw from the amplifier. The tap settings are very important when determining how much wattage you need from your amplifier because the total sum of your speaker's tap settings should not exceed 80% of your amp's available power. Um, this leaves you headroom, it gives you the ability to add on speakers later, and it protects your amplifier and equipment. Um, so let's do a real life example here. So let's say I have this MA30 BT mixer amplifier, which is 30 watts, and I have a waiting room that I just want music for. I'm gonna be using the C3 end ceiling speaker as an example today, um, which is a great option for uh, clinics and different waiting areas and things of that sort. Um, so let's say I have this MA30 amplifier and I'm using this C3 and I tap these speakers at five watts each because we talked about um, how these speakers have three options in the 70 volt settings. They have 1.5 watts, three watts, and five watts. So let's say I'm gonna tap them at five watts each. If we are sticking to that 80% rule to make sure we have headroom on this amp, we want to use no more than 24 watts of this amplifier to give it appropriate headroom. So if I'm tapping these speakers at five watts each, the maximum number of speakers I'm gonna be able to use with this amplifier is four speakers. That's because four speakers tapped at five watts is 20 total. If we went up to five speakers, um, that would be 25 watts. So we wouldn't be meeting that 80% rule that we discussed. So now using that same speaker, same amplifier, using different tap settings, this will show you that you can use a different number of speakers um, with the same amplifier. So instead of tapping these speakers at five watts a piece, let's say I tapped them at three watts. Now you can do the math. I can have eight speakers on the same line using the same amplifier because at that point, eight speakers tapped at three watts is 24 watts, which is exactly 80% of what this amp is capable of doing, so we're good. In another video, we're gonna go into more details about how to determine uh, what to tap your speakers at. We're not gonna do that today, but just keep in mind that it's very important uh, to know what your tap settings are in relationship with your amplifier. If you have any questions about this, um, please let us know. Uh, please like this if you thought this was helpful, um, and we'll see you next time.